everybody. It's Colleen and my son Brandon is joining me tonight on our um, live demonstration of using Chocotour products. Brandon is actually just laying down his transfer. Um, he is going with the leaves and he's going to blend different colors and then he's going to take the uh, I'm going to try to hold this out in front of you. It's kind of a little close up, but there's a cute little home right here and we're going to cut that out and he's going to place that in the center of his blended leaves. So what you need to make sure when you're cutting this out and um, you're, I'm just going to cut out this little space here on the back of this transfer. You're going to write back so you know when you're putting the transfer back onto your carrier sheet that you're actually putting it on the right side. So while he's getting set up, I'm going to go ahead and cut this out and get this ready for him to place on his board. And we're going to go ahead and write back on the transfer. Um, I was lucky enough today to get mail that had a whole bunch of new transfers that I'm going to show you guys as soon as we're done this project. I'll have Brian grab the camera and then I'll hold up all my new transfers so you guys can see all these awesome products that Chocotour has to offer. And um, again, if you guys are interested in any of these products, any of the transfers or the Chocotour paste, the accessories, we have these cute little squeegees that you use to trans to use on your chalk paste to smear it across your um, transfer. And um, these can all be found on my website at https://colleen.chalkcouture.com. There, like I said, you can find all these products, all the amazing um, chalkology paste. I'm just going to lift this up and show you guys a couple samples of some some of the new paste that I received in the mail today. Um, also, if you're interested, you can sign up to be a designer just like me, and that actually gives you some great um, discounts on this fabulous products that Chalk Couture has to offer. Um, you will receive 40% off all the products. Also, after signing up, you'll receive a 50% um, a coupon. So, uh, usually within a couple days after signing up, you get the coupon in the mail and you can use that and get great products at 50% off which is amazing. To sign up you just need to pay $99 for the startup kit which has over $200 worth of products which is an amazing amazing deal. Um, and then that'll get you going on your on your new career as a designer with Chalk Couture which I'm so thrilled that I did. I love playing with all these amazing um, different things that you can get from Chalk Couture. I'm just going to show you real quick a couple of the projects that um, that I just did recently. Um, I'm getting ready for a vendor event, so I'm trying to have um, a lot of my projects kind of laid out to see where I am with different things. Um, these are some of the transfers. I'm going to show you in a little bit what brand gets set up. Actually, why don't I do that now? My brand's getting set up. Let me show you the new ones that I got today. Um, so I got this super cute Holly Jolly. I love this one. This has um, the days until Christmas and you can just write in. It has the vintage um, Christmas balls, which are so cute. I also received Merry Bright Ho Ho Ho. So cute. I love this one. The Witch is In or The Witch is Out. I think I'm actually going to make this one later on and take it to work. <laughs> that would be cute. And then this awesome, this really super huge transfer called Gather and Grateful, which I think is awesome for the holidays, for Thanksgiving. And then these super cute fun pumpkins, which are really super huge. I was shocked at how big this transfer is. It's amazing. And then I finally got the um, Happy Birthday transfer, which I think is so cute. All right, we're going to get back and see how Bran is doing, getting everything set up. He is actually mixing up the chalk paste because it's the first time that we've opened it today. So he's just um, stirring it up to make sure that it has a yogurt-like consistency. And I'm just, I cut out home from that transfer that I just showed you. So on the back of it, I'm gonna write back. And then that way you know the correct side. These ones are actually uh, easier to tell because the back is completely like, 
my side. Uh, it's it's got a slipperier consistency yeah. kind of feeling to it. Yeah. But sometimes it is still a little hard smudges. to tell. That's okay, it's smudged. We still know that it's the back. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> instead of taking the chance and not realizing or recognizing which side is the slippery side yeah, or not. Yeah, it's definitely good to write Yeah, it. that's definitely why we like to write back on there. Um, so you're going to go ahead and lay these, blend these colors. Um, and then you're going to, are you going to put home gonna, like right in the center yeah, after it and dries? and I'm going to do it after because it'll oh, cover great. these up. So okay, that would be steps. awesome. Okay. So he's just stirring up the colors yeah, that he's going to use. Messing around with this and seeing where I want to put it back on. Okay. I, I kind of wrote back, but the pen wasn't. Ah, uh, okay. So, That's fine. That's yeah. why I keep my Sharpie handy just for that. Yep. All right. So what colors are you going to use on your leaves here? Uh, Dreamsicle, Tiffany Blue, and Orchid. Orchid. Which actually, unfortunately, um, Orchid is actually out Orchid, of stock yeah. right now. Oh, sorry about that, folks. Uh, so that one's actually out of stock right now, but um, they do have this awesome color right now that I actually just picked up today in my um, delivery. It's purple, which is really so pretty nice. color. It's pretty similar. The orchid is slightly, slightly different. Of the smaller squeegees. Yeah. And uh, yeah. So what we what we had done was we had a larger squeegee. And we just cut them down so that they were smaller, easier to fit in the jar. And I apologize for dropping the camera. I have a brand new stand that I'm trying to get used to here. Um, so Brand's just going to dot around some some of the different colors, and then um, he's going to work try to work somewhat fast because um, we don't want the paint to dry. And he actually did a practice run with this and realized that a little bit of chalk paste goes a long way. Um, his first attempt. Uh, we did have a bit of excess chalk paste on there, but it wasn't a big deal. We just squeegeed it off, but now he knows what to expect as far as um, how much paste to use on the transfer, mm -hmm. so, and then how to blend, and, and you practice with it, and that's how you get better with it. So that looks good. You've got some orchid all around. I've got a little paper towel here, and we've got our tray of water set up ready to go so that he can drop the squeegees in there when he's done and just remember that when you're done placing your colors on the transfer you just wipe off your excess right onto the jar you don't want to um, miss out on a drop of that chalk paste so he's just wiping that off and then he's just going to stick the, the uh, squeegee right into the water so that we can clean that off when he's done Okay, so now we're going to do some of the Tiffany. Unfortunately, that also is another one that is discontinued, but they have uh, Caribbean, which is um, also I got today, <laughs> um, which is very similar to the Tiffany Blue, so I think that'll that'll work really well. Um, Brand just really likes these pastel colors on the leaves. It does look really pretty. So he's just placing uh, a couple drops onto the transfer. That's going to look really pretty, those colors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. He's just trying to make sure that he's not touching the other purple that he laid down because he wants to get the excess Tiffany blue back into the jar. Um, just just maybe a little bit more over yeah. on that side. I'm going to do a little bit of pink in the. Yeah. That's perfect. perfect. Okay. He's going to get the excess chalk off there onto the jar. And then he's going to throw that squeegee in the water too so that we can clean that off. That's a great thing about cutting the squeegees down because if you want to do something like this, um, you have a bunch of different squeegees right at, you know, right at your fingertips to do. Ooh, wait, hold on. I just got a really Yeah, good that idea. one is a little soupier looking. I'm not uh, quite sure why. And I think why, that'll but... actually help me out here for doing. Oh, that's kind of cool effect. Yeah. It's like drizzling it. Just working with it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, actually. Okay. Now, does it look like any of those? Are, no, they still look pretty wet. I think they're still good in good shape. Just maybe go a little quick because you want to start getting. Oh, I'm gonna do it right after yeah. this pink, yeah. And what I did was I did leave the big one out here for you just because it might make it easier to spread them all across. Yeah. When you're done, that looks really cool. I like that. <laughs> oh, that's okay. We can yep. clean that up, right? With a little bit of water. Squeegee that off. Yep. You got it. I don't want to waste any of that color. Yeah, there's a lot on 
Okay, that'll come off easy, I think, because it's so liquidy. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why. Mm. Maybe it's just got a little bit too much water in it. Yeah, I mean, maybe it happens. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to use your big squeegee and squeegee them off, squeegee the paste off. Yeah. Remember that because Brandon is blending, obviously we can't put any of these back into the jar because they're now blended colors, which is fine. That's why he just used a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. And uh, you could even pull down mm -hmm. yeah, from, I'm that, going yeah, to. from that side. And that'll bring some more down to the bottom for you. He's being very artistic trying to get it just so. Try not to mix them too much. I don't want it to just be one big purple blob. Right, right. Yep. So I want to make sure that looks cool. everything gets where it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And just bring this yeah. down. Yep. And just making sure that you're covering all the little pieces of the transfer so that you don't have any gaps in it. Yep. Yeah. That's cool. So that's like kind of like layered almost the way you did it. Yep. So that's what I'm going for. Yeah. That's cool. on there before I move on to the next one. Yeah. Do you want to use a different squeegee? Or? Uh, I actually have another one if you want to start fresh with another. Yep. Yeah. Good to have a couple of these guys on hand just for this kind of thing. So I'm first going to go over all the spots that are uh, just pink and blue and then go over purple last to yeah. kind of layer it. Yeah, that's good. Kind of marbleizing it. Now, what we can do is while you're working on that one, I'm going to peel this one off for you, okay? How's that? Yep. That way it doesn't dry on here. Oh, that came out pretty. Okay, I'm going to move the chair out from behind you and put this in. So I'm just going to place the transfer in water over here with the, pa with the chalk paste side down in water so that that way it'll clean off the, um, the transfer. And then um, once it soaks in the water for a little bit, we just go ahead and we take a, um, a Clorox wipe, make sure that we clean off the front and back of the transfer, and then we can put it right back onto that carrier sheet that we had labeled, um, you know, back on the back of it so we know which side to, um, to put our transfer back on. How's that one looking? Pretty good, got it all covered. Make sure there's no lines. Then we did have a little bit here, but we'll just yeah. clean that up with the wet paper towel. There's a couple little tiny yeah, spots. Yeah, that's but... perfect. All right, so you want to put that in the water and then peel that off. I'll hold it down for you. Lift that up. Oh, that looks pretty. Oh, yeah, try to make sure the transfer doesn't stick to itself. But don't panic if the transfer does start to stick. It's completely okay. Just get it right into water. Flip it. Mm -hmm. Yep. So that the chalk side's down. Yep. And then once you get it in water, if it does stick a little bit, you'll be able to unstick it. Um, so don't don't panic too much if that happens. It's, it's okay. Um, so if you want to just wet your the tip of your paper towel here, if you want a little... I don't know if you want to, I like to have a towel handy to dry my hands off so I'm not getting my chalkboard all wet. So he's just going to go ahead and he got a little bit on the board, but that's okay. Just very easily removing it. Um, September, we also have another great promotion going on right now, which is if you purchase five transfers, they could be five small transfers, five large transfers, a mix of medium, large, small. If you purchase five of those, you are actually going to get this awesome Chocotour squeegee. That's actually a $10.99 value. Um, and you get that absolutely free when you um, purchase five transfers. And again, you can visit um, my Chocotour store, which I have linked, and uh, you'll get that for free. That's perfect. And that came out so good. So we'll hold that up for you guys. See all the blending of the colors in there? It's really pretty. So I have a little trash can right there. You can just throw that right in. And what we can do is we can take a hair dryer to this because we want to put the home over top. Or do you want to turn it sideways or you're going straight in the middle? Right. Okay. Um, hmm. 
Yeah, actually, I might impromptu add something, maybe. Oh, okay. Uh, well, let's get the hair dryer on this for a second, so it's going to get a yeah, little noisy for just it. one second while I've got the hair this, uh, dried off so that he can go ahead and layer. Turn this up a little so I can go. do is why Bran is deciding on maybe adding some more to this project he's being a little spontaneous I'm gonna go ahead and put the lids actually back on these so that they um, don't get dried out so all of your chalk paste actually comes with this little plastic cap which um, is great you just pop that back on there and that keep preserves your your uh, chalk paste Okay, you want to add another one? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, so did, uh, we, did we check to see if this was fully dry? It actually feels pretty good. So little, I can do this with home. Yeah, that's perfect. So are you going to use the same colors? Uh, yes, I might actually add one uh, for okay. this. For that one? All right, I'll yeah. leave, I'm not going to put the lids on these then if you're going to use the same colors. What other color were you thinking of? Uh, thinking about that right now. Okay, I'm gonna put your transfer down. And this one you don't need to do too too heavy because you don't want it to actually pull the, the bottom transfer up just in case it's not 100% dry and you can just go real light with that. Um, so what other colors would be fun for that? Uh, I have bubblegum pink, I have lemon yellow, yeah, I, was... I have mint, I have, well probably not lime, lavender, you have purple in there already. Yeah. Mint and lemon? Maybe. I'm... Just to add a little contrast? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Alright. So you want to go ahead and get those open? I might actually do... The lavender? Maybe. Um... Yeah. Oh, the bubble gum. Yeah. I kind of like that, the three colors together. Yeah. Alright, so if you're not going to use that, then I'm going to... You want to use really... all of them? Alright, well, we'll leave them. They um, should be okay for a little bit longer. Yeah. Okay, so while you are stirring up those, I'm going to go ahead and sneak over here and clean off some of these squeegees so that you can use them for your next design. Being very spontaneous here. Yeah. <laughs> That's the fun part about it. Yeah. A lot you can do. Yeah, and again... If something, a project that you're working on doesn't come out, like maybe just 100%, you might just think like, oh, something's off. The great part about it is that you can just get a paper towel, get a little bit of water, and just erase what you don't like and start again. So, and you're only limited by your imagination, so whatever you can come up with um, to make your project, you know, it's completely up to you to how you want to make it. Yeah, actually... So I'm just going to clean these off for you so you can use them again. And if it, the chalk, if it looks a little bit um, chunky, not quite meeting the consistency of uh, like yogurt or cake batter, then you can just add a little drop of water. I would just add a little at a time because you can always add more, but you can't take away. You don't want it to be too soupy. Um, so... Um, that's a quick fix if you if your paste isn't looking like it has the consistency that you need. All right, so Brand's gonna get the home. Go ahead. Um, okay. Now you're gonna try to do both. Are you? Yeah. Okay, you're gonna try to do both. Okay. Oh, perfect. Okay, remember I wouldn't go too too heavy because yep, you don't want it to pull up what's underneath. So do you want to make that one solid color so it stands out? I think I might do something like that. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to roll with this. Okay. 
Yeah, just dry that off on the towel. There you go. Okay. Going to try the orchid on there? Make it pop? Yeah, I think I might do... I think the dreamsicle would be pretty in the home. And then... Mm -hmm. Well, it's up to you. That is a good... You know what? I... Yeah. Gonna, I, I, have, I just got an idea. Yeah. You do half and half? Just to like... And then the rest dream school. And then I'm gonna use this down here a bit. Okay, yeah, so drop, some, have it. drop some color of that on the bottom. I might do... Remember, squeezy the rest of that off into the jar. Yeah, perfect. You getting the hang of it? Okay. Dreamsicle? Yeah. Was that what you were going for? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, maybe I should do the bubble gum though. Yeah, the bubble gum is pretty. Gonna add that to the flower? I'll just use gold Okay. So indecisive. I know. <laughs> so many colors to pick from. You can um okay. You can just rub it off on the edge so that it doesn't drip if you don't want it to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like that. Perfect. It's on the other side. Yeah. yeah. There you go. You're that just trying to get a purple in the center? Is that what yeah, you're Yeah, just like to? a little line through it. Yeah. Kind of. That should be good, I think. Okay. I can. Well, depending on how you're going to use the squeegee to get it off, we'll see how that comes out. Just a little bit more there while I have this. Okay. Oh. Okay. So Brand's just putting down multiple colors because he's going to blend his next set of leaves again. So, so I think he's for using. This, I'm going to primarily use these. Okay. Now that looks a little soupy too. Yeah. There you go. That mint's pretty. Ooh. Let me do it this way. That makes more sense. Okay. Remember, it's all going to blend together anyway, so. Yep. Yeah, Brand's just being careful not to put any of the um, the mint color that he's using onto the other two colors. So that way he can squeegee back the rest of the mint that he has left over on his squeegee right back into the jar. And then once he's done that, he just plops the squeegee into the water so that we can clean it off. And he's got so many beautiful colors going on here. We've got Dreamsicle, Tiffany Blue, we got Orchid, we got Lemon, Bubblegum, and so. Mint. All going on in Brand's, Brand's little project here. I like the drizzling effect that he's doing on the uh, on the leaves in the bottom. So cool. Alright, now you might want to start squeegeeing because it looks like they are starting to get a little dry. But if that happens when you um, are working on a project... Um, like Bran is with multiple colors, or if you're working with um, a bigger project and you notice that your your chalk paste is starting to dry on your transfer, you can just take a paper towel and just wet it just a little bit and um, just tap it right on top of the transfer just to get your chalk paste wet again. That way, um, wow, you're putting a lot on there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Carried away. Yeah. Um, that way you can take your transfer off and it's well, not going to stick. I want this to be mostly pink with a little bit of purple. So okay. I'm trying to... Okay. Blend kind of up into it. Yeah, it's going to blend, unfortunately, when you, yeah. when you start touching them. But you may still wind up having the purple line under there, like the effect that you're trying to go for now. That's what I'm yeah. hoping for. Yeah, it seems like it kept it underneath there for you. Yep. Just make sure you get it right there, because some of the transfer mm -hmm. is not there. you go. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I think you might wind up getting that purple under there. We'll see how it goes. I hope so. Out. Oh. Ah, you are. Look at that. Oh, awesome. yeah, no, you had that there. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's what I was going for. Yeah. Like, kind of. Awesome. Okay. So, so why don't you? I'll hold the. Yeah, I'll hold this down. For, oh, yeah. Let's yep. let's get that one off. <laughs> While you're doing that, I'm going to peel this away so that we can make sure that this isn't drying out on here. Oh, look! It did. It came awesome. out with the with the purple right through it. That looks great. I'm going to sneak behind you again and throw this in here. Sorry. Yeah, 
got a little bit off. That's again. got a lot of yellow in it. That's going to be pretty. Or lemon, sorry. I'm saying <laughs> yellow. Lemon. It's a shade of yellow. <laughs> yeah. All right, you got your whole transfer covered. Is that good there? Hopefully. Oh, just take that little guy and yeah. smooth it out over there because you might just have a hole there. Okay, that looks good. All right. You want me to hold it? I'll just really make sure that everything's covered because I was being a little bit gentle with this because yeah. I didn't want it to blend too, too much. Yeah. Now let's just make sure there's no gaps. That looks good. Okay. Be really careful with these. Yeah. Sorry, I wasn't holding it real good. Oh, okay. I see a little green. Wait, mint. I see a little mint in there. Some purple and some yellow. And I love how in the um, the home it does look like it's got the lines through it. That came out really good. Did I say purple lines? I meant to say purple lines. Is that what I said? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we can you sure. just screw some of those over there. There we go. All right, that looks awesome, Bran. Are you happy with your project? Yeah. All right, so now you want to just clean up the little spot that you got over there, and then you're all set. I feel like I'm going to put this in your room. Maybe. Yeah. Probably. Okay. Just a little spot up here. Yeah. Perfect. All right, awesome. Here's Brandon's finished project. I hope you guys liked it. It would be so awesome if you guys could like and share my page. I would be eternally grateful. Thanks, Brian, for your project. Have a good night, everybody. Bye.